us at the town and city number 13. We are getting right underway here. My name is Lightly Toast Waffle. My name's Surreal. And we are starting it off with G Shark versus Madomo here. Um, That's looks right. like we're getting started. Straight into um, game one. Oh, he's all right. All right, right. G Shark's doing fine. G Shark Two rocking the fast Wimby characters Pirate. right now going against each other. It's going to be an interesting concept to see right off the bat. Very quick, yes. Uh, Madomo is going to be probably looking to punish a lot of G Shark's grabs when G Shark goes for the grabs, and G Shark might be a little more hesitant to go for grabs as a result of that. Mudomo's doing a good job waiting for G-Shark to do his options. If you notice, G-Shark is landing a lot, and then Mudomo's waiting and up-tilting or grabbing. Yeah, and G-Shark's also been using shield, nice, um, shield nicely as well to punish uh, Mudomo. Coming through there, got that grab. We're going to see a lot of jabs from both characters, too, as um, both characters have the best, one of the best jabs in the game. Oh, see right there, Mudomo tried to wait, but he actually messed up on the punish there. He could have gotten one. Oh, got the little Sakurai pseudo combo there. Ooh, going for the fair. And, and the backer gonna take it. Backer takes it. Very clean stock from Madomo, still sitting at 51%. Playing very cautiously. G Shark having stage control right now. And and getting G Shark! The strike. Ooh, coming that through was here. So good. The classic, uh, the one that Jeff Sobom is known for. Nice to see G Shark get that as well. And he really needed that as well, bringing the game back to even. G Shark keeps going for these narrative jabs when he could get a grab just like this, and he maybe take it far. Oh. Yeah, Fox's Never weight mind. coming in a little bit too much there, not quite getting the punish he needed. Yeah, Mudomo sitting back, getting the punish once again, but only a forward tilt, trying to send him towards center stage. Yeah, Mudomo playing very patiently there, going for that empty hop to bait uh, G Shark's grab. And he's oh, going for the fire Fox, not going to be enough because he got it from too low right. part of the stage. But he's racking up some nice damage. <laughs> We're at a crucial point in which Zero Suit could ease up. Oh, and G Shark is right there. Gone. Mudomo oh. taking game one. Good stuff on Mudomo. So, Mudomo, early on, they seem to be trading a little bit blow for blow, but G Shark seemed to be doing quite a bit of rolls, which I think yeah. Mudomo picked up on quite quickly. Mudomo definitely felt like he had control of that game over G Shark. G Shark kept moving around, and Mudomo would actually force him to get center stage, which you would think would be a bad thing, but with Zero Suit, with not a very good neutral, but still amazing punish game and movement wise, being able to just go everywhere it was just so weird to see but Mudomo just still held the same. Yeah he was he was very careful with his movement options using uh, Fox's speed to come through and just sort of maneuver around what G-Shark wanted to do. G-Shark did get a couple like big combos on him which is all Zero Suit really needs to get something going. Oh yeah. But uh, didn't quite have enough to seal it out. Oh going FD actually not wanting those platforms that's interesting on G-Shark's choice. It's his choice of stage here and only one you know there's so many platform stages. Well the fewer platforms there are the fewer Madomo has to retreat to and if G-Shark can just get these few minor exchanges into grabs um, that's all he really needs to get so sure. that all might right. be one of the options. Starting off the game strong both players. Oh Madomo going for that illusion. Yeah gets snuffed out by G-Shark's down air. G-Shark trying to smash up, charge up a smash attack, throws another grab there, but gets punished again, and now he is in the vortex. Mudomo with these frame traps. Oh! Going for a dash attack. I expected a perfect pivot up tilt there. Alright, G-Shark doing a good job with... Oh, never mind. I was just say getting out of Mudomo's uh, thing, but Mudomo is doing such a good job. G-Shark yeah, is still living. G-Shark is trying very hard to punish Mudomo's landings when he comes in, um, but he's not quite getting there. Um, whereas G right now, Mudomo is doing a much better Ooh, job. G-Shark almost so good on G-Shark. Alright, and G-Shark rolling again, and Mudomo just getting that. Up oh, tilt, is the forward smash going to take it? The forward smash will. takes it at and 90. Wow. I feel like forward smash is also very good against Fox if you get him stuck in that because he's such a so heavy that he, it's very unlikely to fall out of the second hit of Zero Shoot's up. Um, heavy? I don't think Fox is a heavy. He's a fast faller, though. Yeah. So, yeah, so being a fast faller makes him a little more likely to fall into that sort of stuff. And we are back to even, though, Madomo is doing that sock talk quickly again. All right, Madomo is just so good at getting that one hit and then just retreating to see what G-Shark will do. But yes. now G-Shark's just taking control. Oh, trying to go for that other fair. Ooh, that was so a close to getting a spike. A little bit risky to go for that spike there, but uh, he didn't get punished too hard for it. I felt like the illusion was fairly safe. Ooh. But that time, it worked. G-Shark just keeping hit. him on ledge. It feels like every time G-Shark's just carrying him to different sides of the ledge. Ooh, forward smash. Yeah, when G-Shark takes center stage, he has been doing a very good job of retaining it. Madomo just dashing around right now, waiting for G-Shark to commit to something. Try to catch up with that up air. One back air from G-Shark, and that'll be it from Madomo. Trying to get so many, and as I said, there's the back air. So fast. Good stuff on both players. 1-1, one, one, G-Shark, Madomo. Yeah, very, much more patient play from G-Shark there. Didn't go for as many rolls, and uh, waited for Madomo to commit to things, which allowed him to get things like that back air. Um, 
just using safer options as Zero Shoot Samus often do, like Down Smash or throwing out Paralyzer as well, just to put a little bit of pressure while they're hanging on the ledge. Yeah. And constantly, constantly there were times when Madomo was on ledge and G-Shark was sitting on stage yet still applying the pressure. And it got to Madomo, you could see, he kept trying to get these little hits out of G-Shark's combos when he could have landed and reset neutral instead. And uh, these guys actually have gotten quite a few games in as well. They were playing friendlies for about an hour before yeah. they started. So it'll, it's interesting to see how they're adjusting to each other after having played for so long. Um, but Domo going to take it to Lilac Cruz. All right. A little bit of an interesting option. I know Foxes do generally like Lilac just because the, the tilting, um, it makes it a little bit tricky for their side Bs, but um, the platforms are very nice to get upper strings on. Oh, G-Shark waiting to do another jab. Domo is playing so patient, actually going for multi-jabs here instead of just, you know, typical jab-jab, up tilt, such like that. Yeah, and Madomo almost playing it like it's a game of uh, melee. They're just waiting, jumping on the platforms. Obviously, you can't wave land on them, but jumping on the platform to sort of mix up his movement options and his approach options rather than just flat approaching on the ground, which uh, G-Shark had seemed to be a bit more wary of last game. Um, oh, Madomo getting that one up tilt could be so strong. Nice air dodge coming from G-Shark there. So oh, and the platform. Air. That was so strange. And that might be why, one reason why Madomo picked Lilac. He might have these uh, little tricky things that he can do that he, even though it might be tricky for him sometimes, he knows he can pull them off. Oh, and that Paralyzer coming through it. and Forward Smash is going to take it. There it is. Rage coming through along with uh, just a high percent. G-Shark taking the lead, but Madomo is clearly not going not gonna to let it build. Yep. Waiting for his opening to get any kind of conversion for the kill. And Madomo just waiting there, gonna try for the bomb fair, but did not quite get it. He, all he needs to do is just get one smash. beefy hit. Um, up smash would him as well. And Nair could do it as well if he's uh, close enough to the ledge. Nair, Nair, down air I think is a, definitely a, a dangerous uh, option here. But now g is carrying him up and this, oh. he escapes it. Good DI up to escape that. And uh, might not have quite been in the sweet spot for it as well. But he's still taking so much damage. Madomo has got to figure something out right now against G-Shark. G-Shark trying to read the roll there. Very aggressively. Does not get wildly punished for it, though. G-Shark taking control of stage. Uh, managing to be able... You can tell Madomo is kind of shaking right now. Needing to get that kill. 152 sitting on zero suit. There's not that many options out of that fast that Fox can use. His only real option here is back air, but he's not able to get a good enough stage positioning. Back coming to Lila, he's all right. And oh, G-Shark is going to die Lila himself. Lila. Going down there, uh, had a good idea going for that back air, but uh, drifted a little far, too far to the right and uh, wrong direction on his upbeat. One vortex from Fox can make this a very even game. Oh, yeah, and this game where it starts. Madomo did not get the jab lock, but he's still carrying G-Shark. Has firm control of the stage now. Great shield from Madomo. Not quite at the up air there, but he has the right idea. Oh, Rung so out so wary. much pressure there, and they're close to even again now. Madomo does not need much more to take this. One and conversion could honestly end this game, but... Great response there from G-Shark. So, um, G-Shark had typically been quite patient.